Hi everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Adventures in Video. No, this is really Mary at Espresso Press Design. That was just a joke. But again, I'm still messing around with these video camera settings. But today, um, I'm going to do another board book that's based on two ideas. Um, one was from Carrie the Crafter, which was an on-the-go collage book. And another was a simple bind. She called it a board book. It reminds me of a board book. So I'm keeping it board book. Simple bind book from Gabbing with Grammy. And I totally butchered her name last time, so. I apologize. It's Gabbing with Grammy and I think it was called Easy Bind, Easiest Bind Ever or something like that. So this was the little one I created from Tim Holtz and uh, this is my little playbook. And then I did a quick demo of just a few pages of how to bind the pages. But I wanted to expand on the theme. And um, so I created a 5x5. Five five and I've done most of the pages. I have a little foot there. And I'm using Collectinea collection in the with the cream background. I have a couple of sleeves because Carrie the Crafter in his on-the-go collage book had a an elastic band and he just tucked all of his little collage papers in there which I thought was pretty cool. So I have a couple of sleeves for doing that. And then I'm going to uh, bind the rest of the pages with you today. Bind the spine and put on the covers. And don't let me forget even though I know you can't warn me. I want, I don't know what the pounding is upstairs. I want to put a pocket in this page. So, I don't want the pocket on the last page because the cover will be getting glued to the last page. So I want the pocket and the second to last page. Okay, so <clears throat> let me move these to the side for a moment. See if I have time for a quick show and tell. I have my binding, five inches. And I'm just using packing tape again because I don't have, um, I don't want to use fabric. And I don't have any wide enough linen tape. So, um, and of course there's a fly in here again. This book, which was the uh, one page, 12 by 12. Um, journal and cover. It also lies very flat. If you want to try something like that and having flat pages is important to you. But um, just use one signature. That'll usually help a lot. 
if having a flat book is important to you. <clears throat> so this one, even though it's not a board book, it lies flat. I'm going to make uh, another one of those for a gift for my cousin who had a special day. And then what, um, this is what I keep my little scraps in to um, work in here. But eventually I'm either going to make a little glassine type bag or I saw that um, Reynolds has these uh, wax paper sandwich bags that are vintage color <clears throat> so I might use that and that's what will go in the pocket to keep your little ephemera scraps to work on your book because I, I also thought <clears throat> the um, gabbing with Grammy, the little um, animal book that she showed was so adorable. Kids would love that. My daughter would have loved that. She would have thought that was a great sticker book. <clears throat> so, um, I'm just kind of keeping with the theme of collage, stickers, flat, drawing, mixed media, all the things you might want a board book for, and a memory keeper, as she said. It would make a good memory book. So, hopefully I can get that done in a few minutes. I'm just going to give you a quick show of my latest haul. Went to Hobby Lobby last night hoping to find a, aren't these papers adorable? Hoping to find a, a frame embossing folder and I couldn't find one for my next little bag tip if I can do it. If I can find the embossing folder I want. But yeah, I needed that like I needed a hole in the head. But it was already marked down to $6.99 and it was 50% off. So how could I walk away? And then they had a few stamps on sale from $3.79, $3.49 to $3.79. I also couldn't walk away from that always wanted to try one of these build a flower stamps and um, I like the leaves I like peonies and of course I couldn't resist words <coughs> texts and <coughs> I finally got a durable pattern stencil so, but I really haven't been to Hobby Lobby in over a month, but I just couldn't find what I wanted and decided to um, see if maybe I could find it in store regarding an embossing folder. So first I have to glue these sleeves together. So that's not really necessary. That's kind of an end. So I'm just going to get started. And <clears throat> one little tip. Again, some of my pages did get a little wonky and some of them I did straighten up. But if you cut them and they're not even, like this one, you can just, if it bothers you, you can just even them up. Hold, press your fingers down firmly to hold them in place. 
and then redo the fold with your bow folder, but they're still slightly off because you know, and you're cutting one little hair on either side of the line and the papers aren't exact five by five. Okay, so let's make sure these are where we want. And then I did, um, I was going to add a little Elmer's glue to my Linico um, neutral pH glue, which is similar to what's it called? That glue everyone uses. It sticks super fast, but this. I don't think it has any conditions placed on when they ship it. And it's a book binding glue. And it also glues, it also glues super fast. And it's probably a better bargain. <laughs> but um, yeah, gabbing with Grammy suggested um, using a glue that doesn't dry so fast. So that um, if you have to wiggle something around. But her book was bigger than mine. So I think this is small enough to manage. Pocket. So this page will go here, and then I think I want a little notch there, and then these pages only get glued on three sides. Don't forget that. Please don't forget that. Are you going to ruin the whole purpose of having a on-the-go collage book? So I hope you're all doing well. Okay, is that going to bother me? So we're going to have a yes it is. It's going to have a little strip of white. So I think I'm going to cover it up. side of here. It will be easier. So I hope you're all doing well. Not much new here. Back to school in less than 10 days. Whether I can squeeze in another trip or not for her to wind down her summer, end her summer on a high note. I don't know. I told you about, about my visit to craft fair, my first craft fair. 
and that it wasn't what I was expecting. But I didn't mean to imply it was a disappointment. I was just expecting, um, I was expecting all those things I see in videos that people make to sell at craft fairs. <laughs> so I was expecting um, I was expecting to see more paper crafts. But I did it. Okay. I think I think I'm just gonna go along the top and the bottom. Is that right? No, I have to go three sides. So I was expecting more paper crafts, but you know what, that's a little too deep. I did get my Bavarian schnitzel because it was our anniversary week. And we went out to dinner again at that really nice restaurant that we discovered during the um, arts festival. And it was just as fabulous. Okay, there's my pocket. It's just as fabulous as the uh, Black Forest ham. <clears throat> okay, I think that's the back. That's the front. <clears throat> I'm put the covers on after I bind the spine. Um, even though this has adhesive, I don't think I'm going to wet it. Make sure all my pages are going the right way. Yes, I kept all my layouts right in front of my face in a pile before I started gluing those two together because I knew I would be prone to screwing them up. <clears throat> I thought this was fun, quick, just as gabbing with Grammy said. So then, what else? 
What else? Oh, last video. For some reason, when I saw it on YouTube, it was closer than when I set the camera. And I still don't know what happened. What a surprise. I, it could be two things. When I put this on record, all of a sudden it zoomed in. So it might be that, or it might be that I chose um, auto edit, which I don't usually use. And then it filled in the frame. I don't really know. So this one, I'm going to make sure I line up with that edge. And, um, and I might ink all the edges and um, I'm probably going to around the corners too. Because I think if this, did I do that in this one? No, I did it. I might do it on that one, I don't know. So I think the more they get flipped, the more the corners are likely to bend. pretty even. And boy, I really like how this turned out when I printed it on craft paper. Because I was kind of at a loss of what I was going to use to decorate. Oh, and I know what I forgot. I forgot my tiny bits of ephemera to show you. You might put in here for a collage if you use it for a collage book. Some stunning little red flowers. I love black and red and clean, black, red, and cream. Red isn't a color I work. Red isn't a color I use a lot. Now that's a little shorter, so that's definitely going to have to be inked or trimmed. And then what is that sticky? See if I can trim that. How much time? Three minutes. So I'm anxious to see what happens when it gets to the mark. Okay. these sleeves clip still lying pretty flat and I think we're in my pocket oh there it is here's your little your little catch all to hold all your little ephemera look nice with a vintage color bag and of course you could decorate these oh 
Oh, it's counting over. See, that doesn't make sense to me. If it only gives you 30 minutes when it, it really depends on how much space you have on the card. Which I have plenty of space on the card. I also still haven't figured out why it keeps dividing everything into 12 minute segments. I don't know. But I did send that other new video camera back. I haven't got my refund yet. Hopefully I will soon. That was a disaster. Took me hours of searching. Um, took me hours of searching and reading reviews and making sure it had all this. Oh, that looks stupid. Making sure I want the, the other thing on the front. Making sure that I was getting what I wanted. That's going to have to be inked or trimmed. That light. Don't want that. Then another thing, I printed all this on cardstock. And then, um, cardstock shifted in my printer. So some things got cut a little wonky right from the start. Um, yeah, probably that can go there. It will work nicely on the back page if it still fits. Of course it doesn't. Why not? I just glued you precisely to a page length. Me again! Okay, I guess I found out what happens when you get to 29 minutes. Your time is up. And you have to push the record button again which I did not do. So all you missed was me struggling to get the sleeves on the page. I showed you how your little collected pages fit on the sleeve. Um, okay, there's the sleeve. And then these sleeves can be removed or you can keep them in there and decorate them. Use them as a tuck belly band um, when you're finished with your book, whatever your book may end up being. And then you had your little pocket to store your little ephemera. And again, these were printed on cardstock. And um, this was a good idea for when you, if you don't want to use a double sided paper and waste one side, which is why decided to do this in the first place because I would have, I usually have um, too much problem saying, you know, I like both sides and I don't want to waste one. 
and it's also good if you're like me when you're printing your digitals you don't really want to deal with printing on both sides or you want to know um, what kind of book you can make where you can put the blank sides together and still have a book. And I think that was all. Oh, I know what I did. I got my ephemera and I showed you um, the uh, The, um, you know, I don't know if I would necessarily add more flowers to this book, and I lost the beautiful big red one. <laughs> Where'd that go? Well, it was like this, but it was cut out. Where it went. So those are just some, this was combining the two ideas, gabbing with Grammy board book, as I said, her little animal exa book example. My daughter would love that for a sticker book. Um, makes a great memory book. Um, I might do another one because my daughter wants a watercolor paper sketchbook, mixed media, anything you want to lie flat. So I'm calling it as she did. It reminded me of a board book. I will probably round the corners ink up the edges and I don't know what I will be using this book for in particular but I didn't want to forget the idea fits right in my summer where I don't want to um, projects. We will be having snow soon enough and I will be spending hours in here before I know it. So I'll save. I'll save the major projects for when the snow begins to fly. So I hope you'll give it a try. I hope you'll expand on the ideas. And um, make it your own. Have a great week, everybody. Hope to see you next time. Bye.